What's up guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to make casting fountain. Exactly this one. I hope you will enjoy. Let's start.
so maybe I will explain what I'm doing uh, because right now I think the foundry construction is obvious but what I'm doing right now might be not so um, those two parts will be welded together and they will be inside of the furnace um, this will be a little bit shorter at the end um, right now I need it that long um, but the mounting system will be like that I will push the burner without the flare to this pipe and also this pipe because it will be a little bit shorter the burner will be sticking out so I could install the flare and at the end I will push out a little bit the burner to make a fitting between the foundry and the burner and that is something that I think will be the most easy and the best way to mount this burner but before I do this I must fix what I destroyed Okay, so the smelter is almost ready, it um, needs to be painted and also the refractory, which is uh, dry, uh, needs to be fully cured by heating up very slowly. Believe me or not, but the um, drying process took five days. I've baked it on the sun for five days um, and during these five days I also took off the octagonal uh, box and fill all of the cracks which was pretty normal um, so right now it is almost ready Okay, so the casting foundry is in one piece and I must say that it looks pretty awesome. Um, there is two really cool features which I want to share with you because I think it is a good idea to make the same features in your own casting foundry if you plan to make uh, one. The first is removable handle. Basically, inside the casting foundry will be at least 1000 degrees Celsius. 
and the heat radiation will be so huge that this handle will be really hot or even it will be burned so make it removable um, protected and also protect your hand when you want to open it or close it uh, most of the time it will be closed so the handle doesn't need to be mounted on the smelter when it's working second really cool feature is the system how the burner is mounted to the smelter and to show you how cool is that I will show you step by step how to install it and make the final assemble of everything so I'm sticking the burners without the flare to the end and the threads just sticking a little bit out of the inside of the foundry then I'm screwing the flare on both burners and at the end I'm pushing out the burners cool isn't it so guys this is all for today i cannot use it because i still don't have any tongs so the next episode we are going to make some tongs for the smelter and maybe do some casting i don't know anyway thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video have a great day and we we'll see you in the next episode bye bye